Hello, you fruity devils. We're talking about fructose. This has come up a few times recently with a few ladies uh, off the back of conversations with their food diary. It's about eating fruit for meal one, and only fruit, really. Uh, fruit isn't bad. We know that compared to a Snickers, fruit is good. It's healthy, it's relatively low in calories, right? But that's only half the story. Uh, what some people don't know is that the natural sugars in fruit are called fructose. You might have heard of it, you might not have. And although natural, so therefore healthier than the old artificial alternatives, right? Um, fructose can only be stored and metabolized by the liver. Uh, as opposed to glucose, which is the sugars that come from carbs, as in rices, breads, pastas, grains, starches, that lot. That can be stored all over the body, in all of the cells in the body, particularly all the muscle cells, right? It's that that we replenish after we work out. But fructose coming from fruit, guys, can only replenish your liver stores. And I'm doing this little thing here because it's a really small storage allowance, kind of like the old Nokia 2210s compared to today's iCloud. So think massive storage for glucose, small storage for fructose. So here are a couple of things for you to consider on this topic. Right lipogenesis is the process by which sugars are turned into body fat in the body. And studies have found that it's increased significantly when fructose is consumed at breakfast, particularly if fat is consumed before or after and they found that the, the fat is more likely to be stored in that situation. So if you're trying to reduce your body fat, that's a bad situation because you're storing some instead of burning it. So in a nutshell, or strawberry seed, you can overfill your like, liver storage super easy. When you overspill, it goes somewhere and it's your fat store. <laughs> uh, lastly, I think that ladies tend to critically under eat protein when they come to see me anyway. And that is something that holds them back on their fat loss journey. So do we not agree that it's probably a missed opportunity to not have protein in our first meal? Because if you don't do that in, in meal one, then you end up landsliding for the rest of the day and always playing catch up. And at the end of the day, you've under eaten on your protein. And it's that which is one of the big issues anyway. Okay. <laughs> My head hurts hard, I'm trying so hard, and now you tell me I can't even eat fruit. Hold on there, tiger. I'm not saying you can't eat fruit. I'm just saying for our fat loss journey, eating it at the start of the day is probably the wrong time. So let's talk about timings. When, Coach adds, should I eat fruit? In my honest opinion, fruit is really, really good pre-workout, not our morning ones. That's a different thing. Let's say I was going to the gym, for instance, let's say in the afternoon. Having it pre-workout for me in that scenario is a good thing because fruit is a simple sugar, simple sugars, which means it's easily utilized by the bodies in the bloodstream. It's fast for the body to utilize its energy. It's there ready for the workouts. That's great. Um, if you're gonna do like a home workout or I don't know, something later on the day, then have it pre that. Just don't have it in meal one. Just as some kind of afternoon snack. Let's say you've been working hard in your office rather than going to get in the Snickers or the crisps or whatever, you can have a snack of fruit. Good time. Good, good times. My favorite one for myself is to have it at night time when you're having your cravings just before bed. Try this idea, have your fruit, some yogurt, a little bit of protein in there as well, and that will crave your sweet tooth instead of you reaching for the dairy milk. That'll crave your sweet tooth. What the hell's that, ads? Uh, yeah, fructose.